Alright, I'm so excited about this one. Hi guys, my name is Dane, and I've just butchered my own intro. But we'll just keep rolling, I guess. So today, I am going to be doing the I Want To Get Drunk With book tag. This was created by Book Envy, and I was tagged by Book Your Imagination. And I was so excited because I was watching a video and I was like, this is a really fun tag. I, like, you know, I hope someone tags me to do it. And then she tagged me to do it. So the idea here, this is a bit different to most because it's like a fill in the blank tag. So you've got a short phrase and then you fill in the blank and then you talk about your answer. So I don't have any books for this one. I just have some blanks to fill in. And uh, I'll put all this info below in case you want to take it. And I will tag some people at the end as well. But if you're not tagged, just do it anyway. It's really fun. Let's get started. So I want to get drunk with Charles Bukowski. Now, I think... <laughs> I don't know if I would survive this kind of drinking session. I mean, he did have a tendency to maybe drink three whiskey bottles or something and then throw things at people. He was a misanthropist. He didn't like being around people. You know, even if I went round to his house with some beers and just said, hi, here are some beers. Can I get drunk with you? He'd probably just take the beers and slam the door in my face. He, he, you know, he wasn't a nice guy, but he was an extremely heavy drinker. So I just thought, He's the obvious choice. I want to have coffee with Philip Pullman. And I want to have coffee with Philip Pullman because he's just like a fascinating dude. I was watching him recently talk about freedom of speech because he wrote a book called... It's called something like The Good Man Jesus and the Scoundrel Christ or something like that. And as you might imagine, lots of religious people got really annoyed. And then I was watching a clip of him where he was kind of testifying in court, I think. And he was like, he was talking about freedom of speech. I'll link to it below. He was basically saying, you know, I have the right to write whatever I want to write. And you have the right to get angry and send angry letters to my publisher. But you can't tell me what I can and can't write, which, you know, I don't know. I'd like to continue that discussion with him over like a Starbucks frappuccino. Is that a thing? I want to have lunch and go shopping with Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, I mean, Gordon Ramsay would know some great places to go and eat. He would also know some great places to go shopping, I think. I mean, the dude's got style. For example, if he took me suit shopping, imagine how suave I would look after that. Because I can barely dress myself. But I think Gordon Ramsay would, you know, he'd get me kitted out. And hopefully pay for it too. Okay, I want to talk to Richard Dawkins about religion. Just because I think it'd be great to see him get all riled up about stuff as well. I mean, I'd probably, I mean, I'm not religious at all, but I, I would probably play the devil's advocate. So I'd start asking him really annoying questions and then he'd just get really red in the face and he'd go off on one. And I'd probably film it and put it up on my YouTube channel and get thousands of hits and all would be lovely. Okay, I want to take an improv class with Alan Bennett. And I just, I don't know why, I just think it would be hilarious. I'm not actually sure if he's still alive. I think he is still alive. But, um, I mean, he's a playwright, so I think going to an improv class with him would be quite funny, especially because he'd probably be trying to, like, you know, he'd be trying to write a script in his head and, and he'd be like, no, Alan, no, the point is improv. I want to shake Margaret Atwood's hand. Why do I want to shake her hand? Because she wrote The Handmaid's Tale and I read it recently and it freaking blew my mind. So... You know, you know, like a sporting event and, you know, the sporting thing to do is that, you know, the winners and the losers shake each other's hands. And in this situation, I would very much be the loser just shaking her hand, just being like, Jesus, bloody well played, Margaret. I, I don't think I can ever do as good as that. Okay, I want to meet Peter James. And the reason I want to do that is just he just seems really nice. He's actually kind of been quite, you know, I've had a few interactions with him on, on, on social media. He has his, uh, he has a channel here on YouTube where he does interviews with famous authors, which are fan fantastic as well. Mostly kind of crime writers. And just, he's just an interesting dude. And, um, you know, I'd just like to meet him and say thanks for the stories. Because I haven't read all of them, but I've read probably a good 33% of his books. But he's... In his 60s, so I mean, he's written a lot of books. So. I want to go book shopping with Stephen Colgan. Now, Stephen Colgan is... Oh, I don't know whether you'd call him indie. He's kind of a hybrid author, I guess. He's actually local to me. He's been to my spoken word night, for example. He wrote a piece for an anthology I pulled together called uh, the Subject Verb Object. So, you know, I've met him. But we haven't actually gone book shopping, and we live really close to the Cottage Bookshop, which I'll link to below. Oh, guys, really sad news update, and I didn't know how to tell you this without doing a whole video on it. You might remember a little while back I visited the Cottage Bookshop in Penn. It's my most liked video on my channel. 
And I was, you know, talking about how it's been there since the 1950s, independently owned, second-hand bookstop, bookshop. And, um, yeah, it's closing down. It's really sad. They can't find a buyer for it. So the, the, the guy needs to retire, basically. They can't find a buyer. And so, yeah, it's closing down. So I'm going to try and do one last visit. And maybe I can do that one last visit with Stephen Colgan. But yeah, sad news. I want an unlimited Q&A session with Stephen King. Who else are you going to pick for this, really? I mean, I could ask him unlimited questions, so... I just think it would be a fantastic opportunity, and, and any writer worth their salt would, would kill, pretty much. I wouldn't kill, because I'm a pacifist, but you know, I don't know, I'd smuggle drugs, but I wouldn't kill to meet St Stephen King. Is that weird? Because surely that's far, that's better. Like, you know, people saying, oh, I'd kill for so-and-so, and I'm just saying, like, I would smuggle drugs to do it, and it actually makes it sound as though I'm genuinely considering, you know, oh, well, if I take some, you know, bring some bloody heroin out of Afghanistan, <laughs> then I'll get to go and see Stephen King, because he runs the whole drug smuggling operation, you see, so... That's, that's how this hypothetical scenario works. I'm gonna get arrested. I want to do brunch and mimosas with JD Salinger. And the reason I wanna do that is because he, he's like the least brunch and some, some, some mimosas, not samosas, those are a different thing. Imagine taking JD Salinger for brunch and mimosas. He would hate it. It would be great. Okay, I wanna give the middle finger to Kenneth Singleton. I don't know if he'll ever see this, but basically he sent me his poetry collection for review a little while, well, years ago now, really, when I was first starting out my book blog. And I gave him an honest review and I thought it wasn't very good. And then he then sort of started trolling me by like posting fake reviews on my books and stuff. He actually posted a fake review on one of my books from the same account he'd given himself a fake five star review from. And you could go in and you could see that the wish list was kind of associated with Kenneth Singleton. So you knew that it was him who did it. So yeah, I don't know. I provide a service by accepting books for review. And you know, if a publisher sends me or an author sends me a book for review and I don't like it and I give it an honest review, I kind of expect a certain amount of professionalism from them, and he didn't he didn't give me that professionalism, so... I want to high five Todd the Librarian. I did see some people have kind of... Some people doing this have used booktubers for the answers, and I wanted to do this solely using authors, but Todd is an author, so I thought this was a sneaky way of, of doing that. So, Todd, if you're watching, right, three, two, one, you ready? High five the screen, we, we got this, right? Three, two, one. Go! Did that work? <laughs> I want to tell Philip Pullman, thank you for inspiring me. I don't know if I need to say much more for this one really, I guess he's just the author who really got me into reading, and um, yeah, just, just thanks for the stories. Okay, well I feel like I did a really bad version of this tag, but whatever. There are no more questions, but I do want to tag three people, so I am going to tag... I'm going to tag... Beth Chats Books, I'm going to tag Lisa's West Coast Reads, and I believe that is the first time in my channel's history where I've correctly used the S in Lisa's West Coast Reads. I usually just call her Lisa West Coast Reads, which probably really annoys her, so I'm sorry Lisa. And I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag C. Tina Loves to Read as well, because I haven't tagged her yet and her channel's cool, so check it out. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you're new here and you'd like to see more. And I will see you soon for more bookish videos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.